Wednesday. Database and SQL. <clears throat> we um we took a look at a little bit of SQL. <clears throat> took a look at the database design and we took the first quiz. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, let me review it here. That we are in. This is week. And this would be day seven. This is important. Um, we took and we moved workstations over. These are the new internal addresses they are private IPs and so you want to access the servers from the classroom this is what you would use these here um, externally externally they're the same addresses that we had before <coughs> now if you're going to do network work, if you want to access the router, this one right here, to do work on the network equipment, uh, the network equipment connected there, those are those devices, <coughs> this would be the new address you would use after you connected to one of the work servers. <coughs> All right, but what we're more concerned about here. We have a firewall. Okay, this is our internal network. Addresses here internally. We have an outside, and then we have this DMZ area. This new set of addresses here. Okay, so <clears throat> you need to be aware of this in order for you to access. SQL on either one of those servers. <coughs> FYI, security level 50, 100, and 0. You can always go from a higher number to a lower number. But you can't go from a lower number to a higher number. So we can get out, we can get out, but nothing can get in unless we allow it. Okay, so we talked a little bit about our um, our design project. We have a student entity, a skills entity, and training. In the skills entity, we talked about experience, but in reality, that experience is going to have to probably go up here, and we will work on that some more. Um, uh, we can do that on Monday as we start talking about relationships between tables and we're going to start talking about constraints on the attributes and relationships alright, that is it the rest of the class period we took the quiz and the solution is available <clears throat> alright